Welcome to IBM Mainframer community. Many mainframe programmers get confused by stop run and go back statement. Here, we are going to see two important commands in COBOL, stop run, go back. The stop run statement does exactly what you might think it does. It stops the run of the program. This is the last statement of the program executes when a program completes successfully. However, it is not necessarily the last statement in the program. It is simply the last one executed by the program. The execution of this statement returns control back to the system. The go back statement is similar to the stop run statement, it ends the execution of the current program. However, instead of always returning control back to the system, it returns control back to whoever called it. For most batch programs, the control back to the calling program. In those cases, go back and stop run perform the same function. However, if you are in a subprogram, if this program was called by some other program, then the go back returns to the calling program. Under that same scenario, a stop run statement would still return control back to the system, ending not only this program, but the one being called. For online programs, generally user interface screens, all programs are called by CICS. So they are all in effect for subprograms. Issuing a stop run in a COBOL CICS program causes the entire CICS region to stop. Most of that last sentence, probably didn't make a lot of sense. That's okay. I'm pretty sure you still get the idea that it is a bad. So, in the end, unless you have a really, really good reason you need to use stop run to end your program. From my experience, I highly recommend using go back. Here are a few lines from a procedure division of the sample program. And you can see here we use a go back to end the program. Thanks for watching this video. For COBOL tutorial, please visit our website www.ibmmainframer.com.